guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are going to be doing another full face of first impressions. A lot of these products are either brand new releases or they are products that were really, really hyped up, really, really popular that I have had heaps of requests to actually try out. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to create a full look using all of these. I got new stuff from Dior. I've got Fenty. I've got new stuff from Too Faced, new stuff from Jouer. I've got new stuff from Colourpop. Heaps and heaps of stuff here. So if you are interested in hanging out with me and creating a full look, look using new products and I'm obviously going to be reviewing them as I go letting you know whether or not I think they are worth it then please stick around make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let's jump straight into the video all right so first up in this one I am really really excited to test and it's just I don't know why it's even taken me this long I think it got stuck at the back of a drawer got lost but the Dior backstage face and body primer you guys know how much I love the Dior backstage face and body foundation it's incredible it's so lightweight on the skin it's so long lasting um, and apparently the primer is just as epic. It says it gives an instant radiant blurring and plumping effect and 24 hours of hydration. Uh, it's basically meant to blur the skin, give the hydration, but also keep your skin nice and shine free. So yeah, that's the deal with that. The packaging is exactly the same as the face and body foundation. Um, but obviously it's a different color. The actual formula itself is a slightly tinted. It's like barely there. It's a slightly tinted and it feels... Oh, it feels very much like a very lightweight moisturizer. Oh, I feel like I can nearly already tell that I'm going to love this. So just smoothing it onto my skin. And it kind of feels as you apply it, like it actually feels like it kind of dries down to a velvety sort of a finish. It's definitely got silicon in it, or at least that sort of slippery texture, but it's nothing too over the top. Um, it's quite nice. I'm really, really interested to see how this goes. All right, next up, I have the Dose of Colors foundation to try out for you guys today. Uh, this foundation has been so ridiculously popular. Uh, when it initially launched, everybody was going crazy over it. Apparently, it gives you really, really insane coverage, but it stays looking perfect all day long. Had heaps of requests to try this foundation, but it took me a little while to get my hands on it. The packaging is quite nice. It's like a thick, solid, heavy sort of glass bottle. Feels quite nice. And the formula itself is, it's a little bit runny. We'll see what it's like. Apparently this gives you like Photoshopped skin. It's like Photoshop in a bottle. So you, you know, I'm not gonna say do that. <laughs> so just blending it in. Oh, I might've chosen the shade that's actually a little bit too light for me. Mm, it's definitely too light. Okay, <laughs> rewind. And we'll go back in now with shade 120, which actually does look like a much better match. Ooh. Ooh, it's very, very lightweight when you blend it on the skin. It feels really nice. Please make me look perfect as per your promises. <laughs> so it kind of feels like it might be a matte formula. Um, it's sort of drying down a little bit as I am applying it. To be completely honest, you guys, I feel like it's not doing my pores wonders. Like I feel like it's actually making my pores quite emphasized and highlighted just in the center of my face it might be different once it's powdered down but at the minute i'm seeing a lot of texture now it could of course be related to the primer but yeah i just feel like it my texture is like a little bit emphasized just here in the center of my face and certainly there are loads of foundations that i've tested recently that have not emphasized the texture at all like that so yeah it will be interesting to see how this one goes. All right, so I don't actually have any new brow products. For some reason I thought that I did, but I do not. So I'm quickly gonna jump off camera, do my brows, and then we're gonna move on. All right, I zoomed you guys in a little so that you can see a little bit better. I have got the new Fenty Snap Shadow. I have reviewed these, um, they're little mini palettes. They're actually really, really cute. This is what they look like. And what they actually do is they snap together, they click together. I think it's awesome because you can kind of make your own customized eyeshadow palette a little bit. And it's really good to not have like heaps and heaps of shades to kind of have to choose between to create a look. It can just get really, really overwhelming. But Fenty have just released these two new uh, colorways of these palettes. We're going to test these out. Uh, this one here is number nine wine. This one's like really beautiful fall colors, really rich. I think this is my fave for sure. And then this other one here is money, which is full of really rich green colors. So we're going to have a little play with this and see if the formula is as good as I remember it being. I feel like they initially launched these was it December last year? It was quite a while ago. So I'm going to go in with the wine one and I'm going to take first this sort of matte bone color here. 
I do remember these being like super, super pigmented. So hopefully it's the same. And I'm just basically using that color all over the lid to set down the eyeshadow primer that I applied first. Okay, taking the matte brown from the palette now. I like these two because they're sort of like all of the colors are all paired together. It's kind of, it makes the decision for you. It makes it easy. And it makes it so fast to just quickly do your makeup and like you sort of know that you're using all complementary shades. I really like the idea of mini palettes. I think they're awesome. So many massive palettes these days and you're just like, whoa, how can I even make a decision? There are so many colors to choose from. So far, this shadow is applying really smoothly. I'm not finding it patchy. I'm not having difficulties blending it. So far, it's really, really nice. This brown is actually a stunning all over color. Like you could definitely smudge this over your entire eye through the crease and have like a fully completed look. It's a really, really flattering color. It also doubles as a transition, which I like. So we've also got a light champagne in this palette. I might quickly pop that one on my brow bone and also on the inner corner. Whoa, okay, that's beautiful and pigmented. It's also not emphasizing any texture, which I really, really like as well. I mean, you could also use that bone color that I used first to highlight the brow bone, obviously, but I want some shimmer today. Give me the shimmer. All right, I'm gonna pick up that deep purple matte shade in the palette now. I feel like if we're really testing formula, the darkest matte shade's always the way to go to really see how things are gonna perform. So, just gonna start applying this one. I've tapped off the excess right in the outer corner. Okay, so that shadow's blending out really well also. I'm sort of like dabbing it on and then I'm using circular motions to buff it out. I feel like we'll make the outer corner nice and dark and smoky. And then we'll do this really rich sort of bronze color right on the lid. I think that'll be perfect. Rubbing that same brown through that lower lash line. This is the brown that we used, um, it was the second shade that we used. You can see I'm sort of like dragging this eyeshadow outwards and upwards a little because I am gonna do a wing as well. Um, and then let's try that beautiful rich color. It's like a really rich sort of warm tone bronze. And I'm gonna pat that. Right on the lid. But yeah, these palettes gorgeous. The formula is definitely as good as I remember it being. So I'm quickly gonna do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back. All right, to create the wing, I have this eyeliner from Shiseido. Apparently this is a literally life-changing eyeliner. So I'm really, really excited. So it's the Shiseido Arc Liner or Arch Liner Ink. Look at the tip on this one. So it's the tiniest, tiniest, finest point of an eyeliner I've honestly ever seen, I swear. And then it also like kind of curves over at the end. So I'm hoping it'll make it really, really easy to get the eyeliner in really, really close to the lashes and like the inner corner. And hopefully we can do a really precise wing. So we'll see how it goes. Well, it feels kind of weird because it's curved like that. Maybe I'll use the other side. Now, everybody always raves on about Shiseido eyeliners. Apparently they're super smudge proof. They're super, super long wearing really really black just like amazing amazing formulas and i'm so intrigued by this tip like the tip on this pen okay so it definitely makes it really really easy to because it sort of curves upwards and backwards towards the back of your eye it makes it super easy to get it over the lashes and get it in i do still think it might take me a little bit of time to get used to using it because it's different to what i normally would use oh my god that that foundation has seriously emphasized so much texture on my skin my skin looks so cakey We're gonna deal with it. Now let's see how the wing goes. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna have to clean it up along the bottom. The point really is so, so tiny. So it makes it really, really easy to get like a really fine, precise wing. I do think there is a tiny bit of a learning curve, but really easy to get close to the lashes. So I'm gonna do the other eye and then we're gonna test the new Marc Jacobs mascara. I'm so excited to try this. All right, so this here is the new Marc Jacobs mascara. It is called At Lashed. And firstly, how freaking gorgeous is the packaging? I love the packaging. So they claim it's got a unique wavy bristled design. Uh, that will deliver the perfect amount of mascara for flawless application. I mean, the brush, it just looks kind of like a standard mascara brush, although I do really like how teeny tiny the brush is, but it's meant to give you lots of volume, lots of length, and also last all day being smudge free and all of that. So let's see how this goes, hey? I do really like how small the brush is. You guys know I love smaller mascara brushes. Um, you can just sort of get like in closer to the eyes and they don't make as much mess. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, that actually works amazing, you guys. 
Hello, Mark Jacobs. It has got like over a thousand like really, really positive reviews. I'm looking at the Australian Sephora website. Um, I have heard people rave on and on and on about this. Definitely really lightweight. Like it doesn't feel like when it's applied that it's going to weigh those lashes down. Can you see from the side how much like freakishly how much volume that's given my lashes? I've got really, really skinny straight lashes. Um, that is looking really, really nice. Let's try the lower lash line and see how this goes. It's sort of like a dry-ish formula, which I really like as well, but also not clumpy. It kind of makes it, I don't know, it's, it's really, really easy to apply. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love what that's done for my lashes. It's just made them look huge. Mark Jacobs. Oh, love this so much. So I'm going to pop a couple of layers of this on try and build the lashes right up and then let's be real i'm gonna put lashes on you guys know me now you know me too well um but i will do that off camera so this video doesn't end up being 10 years long all right so lashes are on and this is what the eyes are looking like i love how sort of like dark and smoky they are and i like that they do look matte I feel like it makes you look a bit younger when it's all of like a matte eyeshadow when you're doing a smoky eye. Um, if you're wondering what lashes I am wearing, they are the third style from our Nikidra Cosmetics Day to Night set, this one here. They're like really wispy and they do also have a naked band so you can wear them without an eyeliner if you want. Now, we need to do something about my skin. It's honestly... It's just not looking cute at all. Really, really super, super textured. So hopefully putting some concealer on and some setting powder maybe might fix this up a little bit. Now the concealer that we're testing today is this one by Too Faced. Really, really excited to test this. The Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer and apparently it's a matte formula. I kind of feel like maybe from looking at it, because I've, I've only sort of looked at it in the packaging. The packaging is really cute too. That's what it looks like. But it looks like it'll be a very similar formula to that NARS matte concealer in the little pot as well. So I'm going to go in with the sponge that I use to apply the foundation. This is also from my brand Nikija Cosmetics. This is our Pro Plus Perfecting Sponge. So soft. And I'm going to pick up a little of this concealer on there. Just see how it goes. Oh, oh my gosh. It's scented like peach. Oh my goodness, I had no idea that this was scented. That's actually a really nice surprise. You may hate scented products and you may hate the smell of peach, but I personally love all of the scent, um, like the peach scent that Too Faced use. I think it's so, so yummy. But I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to start applying it underneath my eye there. I had a fair bit of darkness because I had a fair bit of fallout from like putting the eyeshadow on. So hopefully this counteracts all of that. Yeah, it feels very, very, very similar to that NARS one. Um, definitely got really, really good coverage and it's not feeling like it's particularly heavy on the skin either. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells amazing. Like you can really, really smell it while you're applying it. It definitely, definitely is really, really good coverage. And I do feel like as well that it was really, really easy to blend. So moving on, I've got another product from Shiseido to try. This is their Synchro Skin Invisible Silk Loose Powder. This is meant to be really, really lightweight. It's also meant to be really breathable on the skin. And this is actually a radiant formula. So it's sort of supposed to give the skin like a little bit of a glow to it whilst at the same time setting down your makeup. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to try it with the little puff that it comes with. This is obviously how they want it used. Oh, it kind of goes everywhere as you press it in. But I'm going to start using that. Set down the foundation and the concealer. Mm, I feel like I'm not getting any out like with the delivery system. Like I feel like as I'm doing this, it's just sort of shooting it all out the sides. Hmm, let's try with the brush. Okay, that might have got it a little bit better actually. I'm gonna gently set down my makeup. It's definitely nice and lightweight on the skin. It definitely isn't adding any visible cakiness, but it's also not really, it could just be the foundation. I'm definitely still seeing a lot of texture on my skin here, um, but you can kind of see in the camera, like I've set this area of my face down and it still does have like a very sort of slight glow to it, which actually, it's quite pretty. I do also feel like it's not doing me any favors underneath the eyes. Um, I feel like it's made that concealer look really textured. Man, are we going to have a bad skin day? I don't want to have a bad skin day. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, my under eye area is looking so crepey now. Oh, no. I'm going to quickly take my Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder and see if I can fix that. I wanted to film some other videos today and... If it's looking janky under there, it's not going to be able to happen. Oh, okay. That's made it a lot smoother and sort of fixed it up. 
Thank goodness. So I do quite like the sort of luminous shine that that gives to the skin. I don't necessarily feel like, you know, the areas that I've applied it that it necessarily feels that set down, but you can see it's given my skin like a bit of a sheen, which is pretty. Wouldn't recommend underneath the eyes, um, but maybe as like a finishing powder, not necessarily a setting powder, it could be really good. All right, moving on to bronzer, I have a product from Jouer. I always feel like I'm not pronouncing that properly with my Aussie accent. Jouer. Um, this is their Sunswept Bronzer Duo Palette. Jouer is really, really popular. Everybody always raves on and on and on, especially about their cheek products, so their highlighters and their bronzers. I'm really excited to try this. It's got beautiful, beautiful packaging. Uh, and this is in the shade medium to deep. So there are two, yes, there's two like bronzing powders in this. It looks like a matte and a slightly shimmer one. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the one on this side just with an angled brush. It looks like it's got very, very tiny, minute little glitters in it. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's beautiful. You know how when you use a bronzer for the first time and you can literally tell in seconds that you're gonna love it? I just had that moment. I just had that moment. So it's really, really smooth on the skin. It's buttery. It's not emphasizing texture. And it's also not 100% matte. I like that it's got that sort of slight subtle sheen to it because it does give the skin like more of like a three-dimensional look. It's not like flat. And also obviously having tiny little shimmer particles makes things a lot easier to blend. Oh my gosh, that bronze is beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that is a beautiful bronzer. I'm so excited to see how that wears. Hopefully it doesn't like fade during the day or, you know, anything else weird happen. Really, really like that. To finish off my cheeks, I've got a couple of newies from ColourPop. Now they did just recently launch a full coral collection. It was quite cute, but for me, the eyeshadow palette was just a little bit too pastel, so not really too wearable. But I have got their pressed powder blush in Shook to the Coral. It's a really, really quite cute packaging. I do like it. And this is like a really pretty coral shade and it does look like it's got tiny little gold reflex through it. And I've also got the highlighter, but we'll get to that in a minute. I absolutely love the ColourPop Super Shock formula, like the blush. Well, the eyeshadow as well, but definitely the blush. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. I do like that. I will say uh, definitely as I'm dipping my brush into it more and more, although it doesn't really look like it's showing up on the skin too much, um, little quite chunky reflex of gold glitter are sort of coming through the formula. If that's gonna show up on the skin, I'm not gonna be a fan because that's obviously gonna emphasize my texture. And then the highlighter from the same collection is called Coastin and it's a super shock highlighter. I um, maybe, are these like more of like a, a newly released formula from them? I do have to say their packaging is so hard to open. Ooh, that looks interesting. Hopefully you guys can see that it's got like this really pretty marbled sort of texture and it's got little glints of coral blended in there as well as like champagnes. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's a lot smoother than it looks. Ooh, ooh. Love, love, love the Super Shock formula. So pretty. I like it because it doesn't emphasize texture. It's like a, a powder to gel back to powder sort of formula. It's really, really hard to describe unless you've actually tried it. Let me get my hair out the way. It's really, really nice. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And now that it's on the skin, it's also got like a little bit of a transformation to it. It looks a little bit pink in some lights. Really pretty, love that. And then finally to finish up the look, I've chosen a more fall style lip color because we've got fall vibes on the eyes. Um, this is from Fenty. This is their Stunner Lip Paint, but it's a brand new shade that they just launched. It's called Uncuffed. I honestly think the packaging of these is so cool. It's just like epic, it's huge. So this is a liquid lipstick. It's obviously a long wearing liquid lipstick. I really like the formula. And this color is like a really pretty pinky, mauvey deep shade. It looks so nice. Ooh. Ooh, that's so yummy. Oh, love that color. It actually complements that wine eyeshadow from Fenty really, really well. Like, very monochrome now. That is such a beautiful color, you guys. I love it. The formula is really lightweight as well. It doesn't feel like too drying or heavy on my lips. Oh, love that. But there you go, guys. This is overall the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed watching me play with a whole bunch of new products and I hope that you like the look that I came up with. I'm really happy with quite a few of these products. There are definitely some that I'm like, uh, I don't know. Love, love, love the mascara and the bronzer. Those two mm, potentially 
might be my favorite products that I use today. But as I said, I'll be wearing this makeup look all day. I definitely feel like putting on our velvet finishing powder, like it's it's really, really helped clean up the, the situation that was happening. Certainly with that concealer, that concealer I'll be testing more in the future. Um, but yeah, I'll wear it all day and I will update you and let you know whether or not anything goes sour. But that is it for the video today, guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, have you tried any of these? What did you think? How did you go? Did you have the same experience with that foundation? I, everybody raves on about it. I'm a bit confused. It could be because I'm oily, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. But let me know all of your thoughts down below. Have an amazing day and I will talk to you all in my next video.